gonna show underneath to show that there's no dent. Just a few minor scratches like like this here, but that's it. It's only on, on surface. Uh, the trailer is in good shape too. It's uh, pretty solid. It has uh, new bearings that I just installed this year. I'm gonna show the inside also. Just wanna go around first. So this is the back. Um, okay, press stop, press stop, stop. So now I'm inside the, the boat. I'm gonna show, uh, let me open the door, the window. So uh, this is the seat in the front. It's like a pretty good shape. Uh, what I do, I usually sit on it and uh, to operate the, uh, the 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 motor, the electric motor, which is here, uh, and you use this pedal. It's a cable. Uh, it's not electric electric for the for guiding. It's a mechanical. So there's a it's a cable that runs inside this uh, this big tube there. So uh, it's a cable operated. Uh, this is the live well in uh, excellent shape also there's a pump in the live well for the air so there's the uh, it's an aerator to provide uh, oxygen to the to the fish uh, I'll show you the, the seats the two seats are in very good shape too there's no tears on it tears tears I'm not sure how to see it Um, on the side panels here, there's a few uh, pieces that were damaged, but glued with some kind of contact glue. Same thing on the other side, but smaller ones here. Carpet's in good condition, except it is dirty a bit right now. There's some sand in, uh, on the carpet. At the bottom, and this is where the two batteries are. Like uh, this is the battery for the starter, and this is the battery for the. It's a deep cycle for the electric motor in the front. I have a feeling that the small one is uh, slowly uh, giving up. Looks like it's uh, losing its charge after a few days without running at all. Uh. What can I show? I'm gonna show the dash. In the dash, the RPM is uh, working on and off. The trim works good, but I really I don't rely on it. Uh, the speedometer is uh, broken. Uh, in fact, I what I did I removed the, uh, the 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 part that goes behind uh, on the transom that provides the speed you're going at. So I removed it. It was bugging me. I'm using my GPS instead, uh, instead, which is much more precise. The fuel gauge is here. It seems to be working accurately. Uh, these are all the little buttons to control the different devices. The bilge pump and the, uh, the pump for the live well. Lights. Uh, there's a radio uh, on which you can attach the... Uh, an iPod or MP3 player. It also has a connector inside to plug in a, an iPod with the the iPod connector. Um, this is the remote for the radio. One thing that uh, works, but it gave me trouble once. It's the uh, the switch here for the trim and uh, the tilt. Sometimes it will just when trying to go up it would stop working. I have to to work on it a bit to make it work. So I'm not sure if the switch is uh, actually uh, 
about to give up or if it's just a matter of putting some contact contact cleaner in it and uh, you see this uh, tie wrap here it's because uh, something's working with the uh, the handle where the the little handle on the at the bottom uh, is loose and it was bugging me so by tightening this up together what happens is you don't have to use the handle at the bottom to go from reverse to forward okay uh, to start up the engine uh, yeah, you have to push on the key to uh, to put the choke on so as long as you hold uh, the key in by pushing it through like this uh, the choke is on and it starts right away so the engine is now running I'm going to crank it up a bit what else what else I think that's about it a few things that bug me uh, are these little things here with time they became loose so when you're running uh, these are all uh, shaking especially and uh, when you're uh, about to uh, only when you're uh, going from idle to uh, higher speed and the boat vibrates a bit before you get to uh, higher speed they all vibrate like this and it bugs me so much I was uh, going to either remove them or replace them but actually you need those to put the top on so this is where the top attach it attaches to these here as well as to these things uh, I think that's pretty much it and uh, yeah the, the, this portion here the top portion the blue portion has been repainted with new stickers on it the bottom part has not been repainted but it still looks pretty good so I hope I covered everything you wanted to see about this boat if not well I can provide more information later on okay bye